The fleet is on its way to Vulcan. Excellent. Have the weapons loaded aboard my ship. I will depart as soon as they are on board. What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It's Zig and Bagel here, and welcome back to another episode of Star Trek Online. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to tap that like button, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, welcome back to more Star Trek Online. Today, we start with a new storyline, the Romulan Mystery. Well, it's not actually new, but it's new for us in our series. But uh, yeah, we're on the first mission for the Romulan Mystery, heading out. Go to Starbase 39 Sierra, uh, monitors the dangers of Romulan space. Are you ready? Let's hail. Pick up Damar Khan on Starbase 114 and bring him to Starbase 39 Sierra. Starbase 114 is located in the Celis system in the Beta Quadrant. Okay, except I thought we were going to have to go to Starbase to uh, Sierra uh, 39 Sierra. So uh, I got us there so it would be ready but I guess we have to start at a uh, starbase 114 so we're going to accept that very good and let's see how far away are we we are pretty decently far well I will be right back when we get there so I will see you in a moment be right back okay we are on the station what do you got for me now pick up to mark on okay very nice uh, are you yep you're over here Hello? Hello, Commander. Admiral Quinn told me that you would be available to take me to Starbase 39 Sierra. From there, I'm going to the Hobus system. I'd be happy to answer any questions you have about that area. Fascinating place. I've made it my life's work. This life, anyway. Okay. Yo, yeah, because oh, he's a trill. I get it. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, yeah, I don't need to say that. Uh, Hobus system, that's where the Hobus star exploded and destroyed Romulus. Uh, okay, let's just say, uh, are you ready to go? Packed and ready, the USS Tucker is waiting for me at the Starbase. They'll be taking me to the Hobus system. Maybe this time we'll find the clues we need to solve the mystery. Okay, beam to the ship. Okay, well, uh, already feels like there's going to be a lot more cutting in this episode, because there's a lot of different travel. So, yeah, uh, we have to go back to the system over there. Won't be too long. Just trying to think if I can think of anything to talk about right now. I hope you guys are enjoying the Star Trek Online series, and I hope you enjoy playing it yourself. Uh, it is definitely one of the better MMOs that I've played. Uh, a lot, just mostly because of it has great story, and I really like an MMO that has story to it, especially ones like Star Trek Online or Star Wars: The Old Republic, where they have great stories, they have cutscenes, they have different choices you can make, and uh, a lot of different options that you can do as well. So yeah, I definitely enjoy them. I'd love to hear what your favorite MMOs are. I have played a lot of them. I used to play World of Warcraft. I've played, oh. Uh, Age of Conan uh, I'm trying to think of some other ones there's another one that I it came that was fairly new within the past like three or four years I can't remember its name right now it's a uh, definitely a more difficult MMO I might do a little a relook at it here sometime soon but I have I, I mean I'll definitely want to bring some more MMOs to the channel eventually like I'd love to get back into some more uh, sport tour and there's a a newer MMO called Albion Online, which I played a little bit in the alpha stages, which I'd love to uh, to check out and bring to the channel as well, if anybody is excited to see that. So, yeah, I uh, definitely would like to bring that at some point and see how things go. And here we are, coming up on Starbase 39. Enter the Sierra System. Okay, we're at the Sierra System for Starbase Sierra 39, and we're having that weird bug again where... People's faces are being zoomed in. Uh, nice lips you have there, and a uh, great thing you don't have nose hair. All right, anyway, we are cleared for docking at Starbase 39, Captain. I can beam you and Demar Khan over as soon as we're in transporter range. Okay, continue. Let's get within transporter range then. And see how things go. 
It looks a little quiet. Almost too quiet. Are we in? Okay, we are here. Captain, we are in, we are in transporter range of Starbase 39. Beam down. Okay, we have arrived on the Starbase. There are... Hello, Starfleet officers. Uh, nice, uh, nice visor you got there. Okay, uh, I guess we have to head this direction. Over here. So, speak to the Marcon in the Armory. The Armory. Yeah, there's uh, some interesting missions in the storyline. I can't remember what this one is called, but there's a shuttle mission. Yes, there's actually shuttles in this game. Uh, and it's a very interesting shuttle mission. It'll be exciting when we get to that point to uh, play. Okay, uh, I think I still have to go further. There, I should probably zoom in. Oh, nope, 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 nope. I went too far. He is right over there. There you are. I passed right by you. Hey, Damar. Thank you for your assistance, Commander. Is there anything else you want to know? Are you scared to go into Romulan space? Never! The crew of the Tucker can handle anything the Romulans can throw at us. Besides, you can only learn so much from sensors and probes. To really understand the Hobus system, we need to be there. What else can you tell me about the Romul about Romulan space? The Romulans are touchy. Watch what you say, or you'll be in for a fight. The Remans don't even bother talking before they fire, so I think they're more dangerous than the Romulans. Sela's found some new allies too. They're from the Delta Quadrant, but I don't know much about them. Okay, very interesting. I think they added that in. I don't remember them mentioning the Delta Quadrant before, but uh, yeah, I can't remember. What should I do now? Wish me luck. Okay, I wish you luck. Good luck, good sir. Oh, and I check in with Admiral Tanay before you leave. She might have new orders for you. Okay, continue. Congratulations. Commander. I have leveled up to Commander Level 28. Very good. Exit from you. And yeah, I think that was just like the introduction for this new system or for this new storyline. So we'll probably just do the next mission as well. Because yeah, that was a quick one. So here we go. Empress Sela. You may have heard about the tragedy at Kittimer. Empress Sela attempted to disrupt the conference with an with a bomb resulting in the death of Commander Tamar, uh, Tamir. Now Sela is offering a political reconciliation with the Federation, despite the fact that we have heard uh, we have allied with the Romulan Republic. She has invited uh, Federation diplomats to meet with her delegation at a secure base on the edge of the neutral zone. However, we have recently received intelligence that Sela is amassing a fleet. We are sending you with the peace delegation as cover for your investigation into Sela's activities. This is a very delicate situation. You must try to covertly obtain information about Sela's plans without disrupting our peace efforts or upsetting Sela. However, we do have an agent in her, uh, re I have no idea what that word is, who will help you. All right, except, very nice. Uh, if you guys don't remember Empress Sela, that is the daughter of Tasha Yar uh, from when Tasha Yar went back in the past with the USS Enterprise C and was taken by Romulans. So yeah, we have to go to the Agram Solar System. I will uh, head over there and we will come back when I get there. Alright, I will be right back. We have arrived at the Agrama system for Empress Sela. Okay, we have arrived at the Agrama system, Captain. Incoming hail, sir. Do you want me to put it on the main view screen? On screen. Greetings and welcome to Agrama. I am pleased that Starfleet sent such a notable officer as its representative at this conference. Please enter a standard orbit and transport down to these coordinates. This meeting may mark the beginning of a new day for the Federation and the Romulan Star Empire. I hope we can find a path to peace. There has been too much conflict between our peoples. Alright, interplanetary orbit. Let's do it! 
Oh, we got some other starships over here. An ally, the Federation, a Federation cruiser. Okay, interesting. We have entered standard orbit, sir. Are you ready to beam down? Transport to the surface. Yep. Away team, assemble in transporter room one. Beam down. All right. We have beamed down to the surface, and there's Empressella waiting for us right there. Hello. The rest of the delegates are already in the conference room. My aide, Jevam, will take you there. I have some business to attend to before we begin. It's a pleasure to meet you, Empress. I look forward to a productive conversation. Okay, we have to follow this guy. Uh, Jevim. Jevim! Hello, Jevim! Just gonna slowly follow you around and wait. So many Romulans everywhere. And they're not the good Romulans either. Okay, well, we're in the room. We have to talk to three Federation diplomats and talk to three Romulan dip diplomats. So let's go ahead and do that. Federation one. It is agreeable to meet with you. You have my people's enduring gratitude for how you handled that matter with Ambassador Soka. This is another trying time for Vulcan. The Romulan Star Empire blames the Vulcan Science Academy for the Hobus supernova that destroyed their world. They are utterly intransigent in this misguided belief, despite the fact that Ambassador Spock warned them of the danger and ultimately gave his life to stop the loss of even more worlds. Romulans are a most illogical people. Sometimes I find it hard to believe we were once a single species. Yeah, yeah, and uh, as all of you know, Ambassador Spock didn't give his life. He uh, was just transported to the past in an alternate timeline. So yeah, continue. Let's go ahead and talk to a Romulan diplomat. Welcome to Agrama. Isn't this a lovely facility? You must tour the atrium later. Hard to believe this system was infested by Orion pirates not long ago. You know, some of my colleagues were against this meeting, but I lobbied for it. I said the entire Federation cannot be as blind as the people who were at the farce at Kittimer. If you just see the problems the Romulan Republic are causing, I'm sure you can persuade your government to reconsider their rash choice and sever their agreements with these rebels. It will take more than a warm welcome to make us change our minds about the Republic, Counselor. Okay, let's talk to the other diplomat. I am so pleased to see the Federation recognize and attempt to rectify its past mistakes. I knew that a people as clever as yours would realize eventually that it is folly to antagonize the Romulan Star Empire. I am also confident it will only be a matter of time before you realize that you have made a grievous error by allying yourselves with terrorists, scoundrels, and thieves. The sooner you renounce your poorly considered alliance with the so-called Romulan Republic, the sooner we will be able to come to a mutually beneficial arrangement. Okay, I can only say that I am glad we have taken this first step. All right, so I've talked to those guys. Let's see. Nope. All the rest of them are over here. All right, talk to Federation Diplomat. I thought the Federation's alliance with the Romulan Republic would be the end of any meaningful dialogues with Empress Sela. After all, she considers the Republic to be a terrorist organization. She may have an ulterior motive for inviting us here, but we had to take the chance that Sela's offer to negotiate is sincere and act in kind. The Federation must pursue every avenue for peace. I agree, Ambassador. Maybe she'll see... Uh, maybe she's seen how pointless this conflict is. Yeah, may maybe. Maybe. Let's talk to the Romulan one. We are so pleased that you were able to attend our conference. The Empire was quite dismayed at your decision to support the terrorist insurgents rather than the rightful government of the Romulan people. So much for your vaunted prime directive. In any case, neither of us benefit from extended conflict. So despite your questionable alliances, we are choosing to open negotiations in hopes of normalizing relations between the Federation and the Romulan Star Empire. Let us consider today as a first step toward a lasting accord. And then the last but not least, 
Talk to the Federation diplomat. The Romulans can be so difficult to deal with, especially these Imperials. They are forever setting traps, twisting words, and jockeying for advantage. Even a conference with the Klingons would be preferable. At least you know where you stand with Klingons. I'm reminded of a line I read once in an ancient Earth text. Hide a knife behind a smile. Every smile here hides a knife. I'll be on my guard. Okay, we've talked to the diplomats. Now what? What do you got for me? Hello. I apologize Toka. for the interruption. My name is Toka. I am one of the stewards here. We've had a slight complication with the dietary requirements of some of your delegation. Could I borrow you for a moment so we can clear this up? I guess so, but I'm not sure how much help I'll be. One of your staff is Bullion, and our chef is unfamiliar with their nutritional requirements. Okay? Uh... Okay, he just said the same thing over again. Okay? What do you got for me, buddy? Where are we going? Just slowly walking down this road? There's some weird blending issues in the floor. But, uh, yeah... Okay, talk to Tokath. Franklin Drake says you can be trusted, and that is enough for me. There's more going on here than a diplomatic conference. Sela has no interest in courting the Federation. So why is she suddenly doing so now? We're going to find out what she's up to. What do you propose? The lower level of this facility is off limits to everyone but the Empress and her aides. But that access hatch right over there opens up to a maintenance tunnel that leads down. The doorway is guarded. So while I distract the guards, you sneak through the door. All right, lead the way. Okay. So he wasn't just a steward. He's working with Franklin Drake for Section 31. All right, so uh, yeah, you just distract those guards. Excuse me while I run through your door. Okay. The hatch is just ahead in the northeast corner of the room. There will be a security room near the exit of the maintenance tunnel on the level below us. Access one of the consoles there. Maybe you'll learn more about what she's doing. I need to get back to the reception before I'm missed. But I should be able to cover your absence for a few minutes. More than that, and you're on your own. Okay, continue. Here's the shaft. Let's climb up the shaft. Okay, we are here. What do you got for me? Nope, that's red, so I guess that means don't enter. Red usually means do not enter. That console should allow you to access the security system. I bet you could locate Sila and uncover some of her plans. What have you done with those plans? Right over here. Access authorized. Enter command. Access communication log. And let's see. Per our agree agreement, my ships have acquired the Borg Sphere and towed it to the Petuous system, I anticipate your prompt acceptance of our proposal for new hunting grounds and the intercepting prey you have promised us end transmission. Oh, I think we know who they're working with from the Delta Quadrant. Okay, download logs. Uh, access security cameras. Please input which security camera you wish to view. Uh, let's see, storage facility camera. Empress. The fleet is on its way to Vulcan. Excellent. Have the weapons loaded aboard my ship. I will depart as soon as they are on board. At last, we will have our revenge for the destruction of Romulus. Hail Hakiv and put him through to my personal terminal. Well, that's not good. I have matters to attend to. Yes, Empress. Okay, access office camera. Begin playback of file 2895 Gamma. After I left Starfleet, I made it my life's work to reunite the Romulans with their Vulcan brothers. For many years, I lived among them and waged a campaign of peace. 21 years ago, the Star of the Hope 
the system went supernova and sent a wave of devastation across the quadrant. I promised to save the Romulan homeworld. I failed. Computer and file. I cannot suffer more of that arrogant fool. Hmm. Soon Vulcan will suffer the same fate as my world. Uh, yeah, not unless I stop you. I mean, I am Vulcan after all, so yeah. Let's do this. Uh, back to the root. Let's see, access active communication channels. I have Hakiv, Empress. Patch him through. Greetings, Empress. My fleet has launched for Vulcan. I expect you to rendezvous with us there. Alas, I must disappoint you. The terrorist cells of the Romulan Republic demand my full attention. And with Taurus missing... Spare me your excuses, Hakiv. Nothing is more important than avenging the destruction of our homeworld. She's a you good Van Coat, You disappoint Christ. me, Hakiv. I trust you will not do so again. Her voice wasn't moving there, and uh, that one line by Hakiv wasn't read, which is weird. But uh, yeah, anyway, access transport inhibitor system. Alright, current transporter status, enabled actions, disabled transport inhibitor. Okay, we cannot allow Sela to use these weapons, we must destroy them before she can load them. Okay, so we have to exit here, and go to... The other rooms and destroy weaponry. Alright, let's play spatial charges. Alright, Thoron. Ah, so this is where the Thoron things went from the last uh, storyline. They were brought here to make bombs to take out, uh, to take out Vulcan. Okay, there, up. Oh. Here we go. Spatial charge. Charge is set. Get clear of the blast area. Oh. I'm not clear. Boom. I should have known the Federation would send spies instead of diplomats. And you call us treacherous. I'm not a spy. I was no, just no. hearing about suspicious you things. You may have destroyed these weapons, but my fleet is already en route to Vulcan. You cannot stop what has begun. Oh, guards, you think so? Capture the intruders. Yep, uh, those guards are going to be uh, evaporated guards very soon. So uh, you're welcome. Let's take them out. And die, scum! You aren't even shooting back. I like it. Just stand there. Come on, guys. Yep, just stand there. And uh, yeah, let me let me kill you. There we go. Well, that, that was that was nice and easy. Okay, answer communicator. Whatever you did down there, it made quite an impression. Good work on disabling the transport inhibitor. Your ambassadors are safely back on their ships, but I had to blow my cover to get them there. Now it's time for me to get out while I still can. Farewell. Thank you for your help, Tokath. I hope we meet again. All right. Are you ready to return to the ship, Captain? Yep, let's beam up. Okay, we have returned to the ship. Commander, the satellites are emitting a dampening field that has knocked our engines offline. The diplomatic vessels have been similarly effective. Break free from the dampening field. Alright, initiate a feedback pulse. Uh, okay. Destroy the satellites. Okay, we have to go... That one just blew itself up. The... Yeah, let's take this guy out. Thank you for rescuing us. And more stuff. That was a lot of uh, things we picked up. Oh, I forgot to mention, between this episode and the last episode, I went and I actually... Got new uh, bridge officer abilities for space and ground. So now we actually have uh, all shield and hull repairs. So much better off. And I started getting everything set up for better ground abilities for our bridge officers as well. 
so that uh, things will be better when we're on ground combat. I'm having uh, one focus to grenades for the combat officer, the other one uh, focused on melee, and I'm going to focus more on buffs. And my engineer is going to be like uh, making mines and fabrications, like uh, turrets and such. And of course, the uh, the science officer is going to be uh, having healing abilities for the most part. So yeah, that's how I tend to like having it set up. Okay, satellites down. Battle cruiser. Okay, very nice. Let's uh, use one of those because now we can actually heal our hole. Oh, geez, what is going on here? Oh, they're they're holding us with a tractor beam, and yeah, let's uh let's boost that. Okay, there we go. We also got the ramming speed ability, which is great for suiciding on people. Die! Scum! Okay, so far so good. Let's try to heal ourselves up a bit. Okay, so far so good. And spin around for... Destroy! Come on! It would have gone down if its shields were still down, but they aren't. Okay, 1%. And zero, there we go. Those guys are, can be tough to take out. Spin back around for the last satellite here. And fire everything! And destruction complete. Alright, very good. Well, I'm trying to heal here. Oh no. Get out of the way. Okay, we got away. And he didn't. He got hurt from his own friend. Very good. Warn Starfleet of the invasion. Well, as soon as we are able to. Communication systems now available, Sir Hill Admiral Tenay. I had not expected to hear from you so soon. Was your mission successful? Scylla has launched an attack fleet and her target is Vulcan. I should have expected as much. You cannot trust them. I never do. I am contacting all available ships. We will meet you there. All right. Good luck, Admiral. Okay, hey, we've done all we can here, and I'm transmitting an emergency signal to Starfleet Command. Course laid in for Vulcan system, sir. Let's warp to the Vulcan system now. We have arrived in the Vulcan system. Let's get things going. Thanks to your warning, we were able to divert some ships to defend Vulcan. I have come to personally command the defense. The other forces have already been briefed. Your role in this battle will be to defend the science vessels that have set up a tachyon detection grid to detect any cloaked Romulan ships. We cannot allow any enemy ships to slip through. All right, understood, Admiral. The ships maintaining the grid will be priority targets for the Romulans, but they must remain in position or the grid will collapse. That is why I need you to protect them. Will do. Okay. Uh, wherever they are. It's too quiet, sir. I don't like it. Okay. Uh, yeah. I don't even see the tachyon. How can you fight what you cannot see? Surrender now, and I may give you a merciful death. Uh, never. No, that's not going to happen, Sila. Our tachyon detection grid has revealed scout ships attempting to penetrate the perimeter. Okay, well, I will deal with them. Let's get it started. They're right over here. They should be easy pickings for us. These tiny little warbirds. All being bombarded. Oh, I hate plasma torpedoes. 
They are not fun at all, and they put a thing that takes away hull, which uh, is what always makes fighting the Romulans a whole lot of fun. Okay, here we go. Come on. Die. There we go. Another one down. Another one bites the dust. Die. Okay, I'm going to speed over, get out of the way a little bit, and then come back around. Fire everything! Very nice. Took out you. Razor impact. Very good. Your attempts and to another one. Now, this might hurt. Pay for its crimes. Okay, it hurt a little bit. And what now? Okay, we got more ships incoming. Or at least one more ship incoming. That needs a uh, good speaking to. And prepare to meet your doom. Famous last words. Okay. Good, good, good. Well, I don't remember if I've said it yet, but I hope you guys are having a great day. My day is going quite well. And I hope you're enjoying this episode of Star Trek Online. And another one bites the dust. Oh, there's another guy who just came in. Okay. Advance and destroy them. I'd like to see you try. Sila has launched her this assault. guy's not even Science shooting business. back. Maintain information. All other forces converge on the Romulan fleet. Okay, very good. We gotta keep our mission going and then help take out the rest of the fleet here. All right, defeat, defeat Romulan fleet. That is kind of a tongue twister. Just slightly. Okay. Let's uh, work on this battle cruiser. Derrick's battle cruiser. All right, firing everything. Let's speed out a little bit so we can spin back around. Very good. Do some defensive bus. So yeah, I'd love to hear how your guys' day is going. If you like this episode, it's a it's a decent storyline. There's some interesting things that you have for this story to look forward to. I cannot remember most of them, but hey, that's part of the fun. All right, I love how we're working on taking out the largest ship with our puny tiny ship. But that's what I like to do. I'm the tactical officer after all. And ouch, 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 we're going to die. I love plasma torpedoes. They are so much fun. And that guy's almost dead too. And he's starting to heal. Come on, hurry, respawn. Respawn, let me do it. I can do it. Okay. Oh, uh, we got to, got to, got to, got to get him. Get him again. Before he manages to heal anymore. And initiate priming sequence. Suck it. He has his shields fully back up again. And destroyed. Very good. Alright, now let's work on the rest of these guys. Should be a lot easier now. Got the big boy out of the way. All right, another one down. Just uh, three more here. It's not a really big fleet that we have to protect Vulcan. You'd think that the Vulcans would have some of their ships here as well. Okay, gonna spin around. This guy should be out for a count now. 
take grenades. Oh, and there's more. Great. Great. Oh, so many. I am going... Reinforcements oh. are on route. Hold okay. Line. Reinforcements have arrived. Very good. I'll Let's... Where did my cursor go? There it is. I'm going to use my pirate distress call to help things out a bit. Very good. Ouch. Whatever that was. It looks like a ship that blew up there. Try to focus on this light warbird. It's a decently sized battle, isn't it? It's probably one of our biggest ones we've had yet. Uh, I'm just going to tell you now, it's definitely not the largest battle you ever have in this game. There are definitely bigger ones. Okay, very good. Oh, there's the main ship. And yeah, those are always a fun ship to fight. I can't remember what their class is again. But uh, yeah, they were first uh, brought in in one of the Star Trek Next Generation movies. I can't remember which one right now. I believe it's the one with the, uh, the clone of uh, Picard. Okay, very good. Got to keep in range of this guy. You are not going to get away from me, good sir. All right, we got it 60%. All right, very good. Activate our abilities again. Suck. Torpedoes. Up it. Cloak. Always love when that happens. Especially because it was the perfect part for it to get hit. A lot. And fire everything! Good, I'm glad the shields failed because there's a bunch of torpedoes right in the face. Okay. You may have won this day, but the fight will continue. Romulus will be avenged. There will be blood for blood, death for death. My world is gone. I will not rest until Vulcan suffers the same fate. Okay. Uh, Vulcan is not to blame, Sela. The Federation wants peace with your people. Indeed. Then why does Starfleet use ships equipped with weapons of mass destruction? Why did the Vulcan Science Council willfully refuse to assist us when there was a chance to save our world? Every sorrow in my life can be laid at the feet of the Federation. You are blinded by anger and grief. I hope you see the truth before it is too late. All right, I am detecting some unusual energy signatures from some of the debris from the Romulan vessels. Move in closer and scan the debris. The debris. Okay, scan debris. Sir, the debris have traces of Borg energy signatures. I think the Romulans may have modified their ships with Borg technology. Hmm, something to look into. We have completed our objectives here, sir. Are you ready to depart the system? Yes, yes. Excuse me. Let's depart the system. All right, we have returned to sector space. Let's report to Starfleet. I doubt we have seen the last of Sela. The people of Vulcan and Starfleet Command both asked me to congratulate you on averting what could have been a terrible disaster. Nearly, uh, clearly, she has been blinded by anger. Perhaps in time, Sela will come to realize that Vulcan and Starfleet were, t uh, were not to blame for the destruction of Romulus. I am deeply concerned by your discovery of Romulan attempts to modify Borg technology. Such attempts in the past have led only to disaster. But Sela is desperate to hold the rem remnants of the Romulan Empire together, and desperate, and desperate people take the greatest risks. We were very fortunate to get the information we did from Section 31. Even I don't know exactly who is involved or from where Section 31 gets its authorization to act. It has very highly placed allies, many of whom work to protect the organization from scrutiny. I doubt this will be the, the last time you encounter them, Commander. You need to stay on your guard. Okay, thank you for that. 
let's see what do we got here career specific rare mk6 kit reward overcharged plasma sniper rifle or covariant shield array i'm gonna go with the shield sure that works for me and uh yeah that's the uh we're gonna go for the next one which is desperate measures in the next episode because that's going to be it for today's episode i hope you all enjoyed it uh, i know it's a little bit of a longer episode but uh it, it's the first one for a new storyline so that will happen so yeah i hope you all enjoyed it don't forget to show your support and tap that thumbs up button and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe all right i hope you guys have a great a great rest of your day and as always don't forget to live long and prospect